Hello, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Today we're going to be playing the fourth scenario of the Pachacuti campaign, The Falcon's Tent. The stories of Pachacuti and his followers fascinated me, so it filled me with joy when my host laid down his mug and continued. Clearly, his story was far from over. Pachacuti knew that the Inca would never live in peace if their greatest rivals, the Chanca, remained powerful. In any case, he had a score to settle with Ancuhualac, who had nearly succeeded in conquering Cusco. Pachacuti sent his troops north to occupy Huamancarpa, the Falcon's tent, capital of the Chanca. Once again, he tasked Bikakirao and Apomaita, who remained at his side during the civil war with the command of the army. Fueled by panic, the Chanca began to organize their defense, for it was now their turn to be hunted. The winds had shifted. So here are the scout reports if you'd like to give them a read. Basically it's a, a bit of a 4v1 situation. We've got to take out the purple player and the red player and then we have to take out either the blue player or the green player, uh, not both. The map does advise you to try and build two bases at once. Personally I like to keep things a little bit simpler so I'm actually going to abandon one of our starting positions as I will explain shortly. So we start off with a southern force and an eastern force and what we're going to do is we're going to So we're pretty much just going to completely abandon this south base. It does look like I'm building it up at the moment but that's just for the sake of trying to take uh, the gold which we can see right here. The reason we're going to abandon this is A because it's just simpler that way, um, that's obviously a pretty big reason, but also this kind of eastern area comes with a lot of stone, whereas the, the western area comes with a lot of gold instead. But the eastern area also comes with the priests, and the priests, once you get them on side, will uh, offer you a couple of relics. So in other words, if you are going to build on just one side and not the other, which I think I will just for the sake of simplicity and for the sake of not splitting my castles too much, uh, you can still get some form of gold income on the eastern edge, but in this kind of southern area uh, you can only really get gold and you're not really going to get much stone at all. So this is going to be pretty much abandoned. Uh, we will send a villager over to construct a dock, which we're going to use to build a transport ship. But most of our focus is going to be over here. We're going to send our villagers up, and uh, we should actually bring this one too. And we're going to drop a castle as close as we can to the blue player without actually spurring them into attacking. We're also going to send one skirmisher down this branching path, which is where we will encounter the priests. And the priests will ask us to give them eight villagers. And then they'll join us, which I don't think the priest unit actually does anything. It can heal your units, but it can't actually convert the opponent's units. But it's still worth having. Just because it's easy. And uh, you can of course get the extra relics. I think we're pretty safe just to wall this off now. Uh, looks like we are going to be walling in an Eagle Scout, but that's fine. We've got a transport ship here. Villages up here, we're going to head up in this direction, cross the bridge, and we should encounter a gold mine. And we have to be very careful here because if we build too close, we're going to get attacked. So we want to be somewhat close, but not to the point where we're going to get destroyed. So possibly just here in the south might be safe. Now that we've attacked that Eagle Scout, they might come out with their huge army, which would be game over, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm just going to leave these guys to gather up as much gold as they can. Uh, hopefully this castle will go up pretty soon. So it doesn't look like they've come out so far. We're only halfway there, but it's a, it's a good start. I think all of our units are busy now. 
Transport ship is full, so we'll send it across with our first batch. Auxiliary forces of the Kuala have arrived. As soon as we give them a signal to attack, they will set their army in motion. Okay, castle's actually gone up, so that's a really great start. Uh, we're going to drop a town center, if we can. It's a little bit too bumpy, so I'm going to play it safe, and I'm just going to drop the town center on the other side of the river. Let's put it right near the monks. And we're actually going to send one villager all the way in this direction, because we do need to wall this off in order to secure it. Uh, there is the Grey Army, which we can at some point summon, but in my experience they don't tend to do too much. The rest of our units we're going to bring over now, because we're going to need them to defend our pretty loosely defended castle. Uh, we can see the blue base there, which we're going to need to attack as quickly as possible. Let's actually send an Eagle Scout on his own, just to check exactly where the crossing is. So if we send a unit down to here, the Collar forces will attack, uh, and we don't want them to do that, because they'll just get completely destroyed by Anku Hwalak's army. So that temptation must be resisted. Uh, have we actually figured out what's going on here yet? Okay, so here's the crossing, and we're going to try and wall this off. So what I'm hoping will happen is that they will then try and funnel all of their units uh, in this direction, and our castle will hopefully kill all of them. That's the plan. Let's actually put down a second town center. Let's put this one right here on the stone. Move the llamas over. Uh, we are now being attacked by the main blue force. I'm going to try and move my units away from the mangonel. As we have got some backup on its way. Now I'm hoping we can hold this off. The castle should do a pretty good job there. We are going to need our stray villager. Drop a big strong wall right here. And we are just going to hope that that causes them to completely ignore this kind of western edge and focus entirely on our castle instead. Let's keep all our units back. Okay. He went off on his own, it's his own fault. Uh, you guys focus on wood, I guess. Although I think stone is going to be the biggest priority. But we have got another town centre going up, which is going to deal with that. Are these guys coming to attack? I think they might be. Perhaps not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to send my villagers over to get the priests just yet. Because I think for now they're going to be better off actually building up our economy. And so I think we've dealt with the first wave of the blue player. We will need to put down a second castle pretty soon. This wall's going up once it's up. I think we should be pretty safe. Everything should come towards this castle, so if we put a second castle down here, we might be able to fend off pretty much everything. Uh, I will put down a siege workshop, because if they come with rams and we have nothing else, similarly to the second scenario of the campaign, we're going to be using the mangonel plus castle combination to deal with rams, plus pretty much everything else. Uh, if they come with... Uh, what's it called? If they come with trebuchets, we're going to be in some trouble, but I will build a few of my own trebuchets just to try and fend those off. And so we will attempt to build up some kind of economy. Castle's holding out pretty well so far. Now I think I will start sending over villagers to get the priest's favour so that we can get our, our relics in. We're going to be relying on those quite a lot for our gold income. Another thing I would like to do, although I might not pull it off, is I would like to try and leave the blue market alive. If we can do that, then we can kind of cheese the map a bit and try and trade with them, but every time I've attempted that in the past I've ended up accidentally destroying the market, so might not actually pull it off, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we are actually running out of food. I'm gonna put up a mill. I'm sure there are more llamas and things around, but I don't want to rely on that too much, as uh, looking at it, it does look like there is actually... I'm just going to double check that there's no other way in, as uh, we're still dealing with this stuff all fine. 
Tower's going to go down. We've got a second trebuchet here, which we're going to attack that with. Uh, let's get at least one mangonel and need to build a few houses, which is fine. Let's put them around here. And I think we should put up a second castle. We're going to do that. I think we'll put it right there. This thing will go and attack that tower. And so they are literally just sending in their units one by one, but we can now see that the purple player is starting to get involved too, and that's slightly alarming because we don't know exactly what he's going to throw at us. We have to be pretty careful. Also, we'll go up soon. Not enough food. Let's get a couple of farms. Can also build a navy. That's a, a pretty good option. As yeah, okay. So purple is now coming with his full force. This stuff all looks fairly manageable. Then we might lose most of our units. Hopefully the castle will take everything else out. Uh, getting slightly overwhelmed. Castle should eventually win out. Second castle is on its way up, but we are under attack. Okay, I think it will swing in our favor at some point. Thing is, the green player is also going to send some units, and we have to be pretty careful of those. Also, I think if we actually build a dock, that immediately causes the green player to send over a pretty large navy, so we've got to look out for that too. As looks like we have managed to hold off the initial attack, that's good. Haven't got too many resources, ironically it's actually gold that we're doing fine with, it's everything else we're kind of struggling with, so... Essentially what I should actually do is move these guys onto wood instead, and worry about the gold later on. Uh, obviously this gold will run out at some point, but it looks like our wall has worked, they haven't actually come to attack these guys. Trebuchets. We should be able to edge a little bit closer now that we have support from the castle, so we'll try and take out their barracks. I think this is one of those maps where if you can take out the opponent's buildings, they won't actually rebuild them. So that is worth bearing in mind. Uh, we can pretty safely get a couple of Kamiaks. And we're just going to move this up just to see what we can see. Okay, so we can see one barracks there. Another barracks there. We're going to go for the furthest barracks. It's slightly risky, but if we can take it out, then we will naturally finish off everything else in range 2. You have to be very careful of the market. I don't want to destroy the market, so I've got to keep a close eye on these. And so we do have a really healthy supply of stone now, for what it's worth. Now we're going to drop an archery range. Uh, we have taken out one barracks, so that's a good start. Check your warriors, since this player is the Incas, uh, I'm pretty sure these Jaguar Warriors are just temporary. So if we can take them out, they're not going to come back. Obviously he has no way of producing them as the green player has come for his first attack. Mostly Slingers, that's fine. It's the potential trebuchets we have to be most concerned about as we are now attacking the market. Everyone needs to stop before we destroy it. Try and take out the gate. Okay, and we're going to finish off the tower. Put a few elite skirmishes, and let's also drop a barracks right here. And we are going to send eight villagers across just to get the monks on side. If nothing else, the monks will heal up our units, which is going to be pretty handy. Ah, oh, crap, I've destroyed the market. I really didn't mean to do that. I said I'd keep an eye on it. And I knew that was a risk, that's kind of bad. Okay, that's fine. At least we've done some good damage to this guy. From now on, we will support your cause. 
Right, we're going to bring these guys over and we're going to build a monastery. Once we have enough stone. Okay, let's push in. I'm going to actually send these villagers over to drop a third castle. Could be pretty brazen with this. Suppose we could attempt this. Let's have a go. We need to send everything we can to support. We'll attempt to take out the town center. Send our priests in to keep our units healthy. A couple more skirmishes and as many eager warriors as we can. Castle is going up. It's going to be kind of hard to deal with the Jaguar warriors. We'll do our best. Town center's gone down. Excellent, okay. So it looks like their buildings do collapse automatically, I think. So maybe the market wouldn't have survived anyway. I like to think that because I feel really bad about destroying it. It's going to be a little bit harder to keep the gold coming now. But still. Let's put down that monastery. Uh, this place should actually be pretty safe, to be honest. I need to actually get this economy going once again. Let's have a look. So I could actually drop a town center in here. I wouldn't be completely against that idea. But this actually looks like a really nice location. There's some gold, there's lots of trees. And uh, a safe location to fish as well, I think. Seems that way to me. You guys are going to go down and gather up this stone. Okay, she's going to be fine. Keep the villagers coming. I think we're going to need a few more farms. And we should get crop rotation at some point, but it's kind of expensive, so not just yet. There should actually be a monastery. I'll have a look for it. Yeah, so there's a monastery here, and we're going to take a couple of relics from there. So we will have some gold income, we'll have the income of four relics. I'm kind of surprised they're not going for a stronger attack, actually. It's been surprisingly smooth so far. Don't really want to fight these, but priests should heal us up either way. You guys will pull back, let the castle handle them. Only one relic, okay. Okay, that's not as great, so we're going to be relying on just three relics for income. Gold income. Town centers keep producing. You bring that back. And we're going to take out the dock and probably will build our own dock there, I think. Doesn't really matter too much what we do to the blue base now, it's kind of a bit of a distraction. We should probably just ignore it. There is a trebuchet there worth bearing in mind. Send Vika Corral to deal with it.
he might get killed. In fact, I think there's a pretty good chance he will. But it's worth it because we don't have anything else to deal with that right now. Okay, lots of green units coming in. Everyone pull back to the priests. You guys pack up and pull back. Okay, so there are no fish here, so it's not the best location to drop a dock. It would be completely safe, but I'm not sure it's actually worth it. So we are capped at 160 population, so... Not too much else to be doing here. I'm actually going to bring up the mangonel because I can see there is a ram coming. Quite a big force coming from the green player. So my impression is that the the red player doesn't actually do much. Monk is potentially going to get killed. I think the red player will attack you if you attack him, but if you don't attack him, he will just hang back in his base. Let's make sure we deal with these rams. So I think we need. Well. I thought we were going to struggle for gold, but actually we need everything except gold at this point. So let's go for another lumber camp there. Another one here. These aren't going to get us too much in profit, but it's worth it. I think this wall has actually worked pretty well, so let's scout this area. Uh, and this guy... I'll leave him there just in case we decide to put down another town center. Ah, I see. So the monk, purple monk has managed to steal away the relic we were going for. I'm not sure we're going to be able to rescue that. I will have an attempt. I seem to still be there. Okay, need to pull back. Not ready for that at all. Priests are gonna get killed, I think. Still alive for now, but uh, I want to get them out of the out of the range of the various opponents. There is, annoyingly, a trebuchet right there, which we're gonna need to focus down if we can. Ram should be fine because of our mangonel. Other castles seem pretty safe. Okay, so with lots of gold and lots of wood, I think we're mostly going to be okay. I'm not sure what happened to the mangonel. I guess it got destroyed. Trebuchet managed to take out one of our priests annoyingly. I'm not sure what's going on with the siege ram here. I think maybe it knows what we're doing. Trying to avoid us. Trebuchets actually do pretty much no damage to the ram annoyingly. Let's uh, let's try and build some more infantry to deal with that stuff instead. Ram has eventually gone down, but the castle's pretty badly damaged. We do have loads of stone to repair it, but that's still pretty annoying. I would of course rather spend that on a new castle. Still, we have dealt with that wave, uh, that wave of purple attackers. Sadly, they got away with the relic, but that's okay. We still have a fairly decent supply of gold. Pretty sure we must have. Yeah, we've got 12 idle villages, so let's actually sort those out. You guys are all done. Let's gather some food. Okay, a little bit of gold here. 
I'm just going to leave this one guy to take that. I don't think there's any point building a town center here. It's pretty sparse, apart from that tiny gold pile. And I think we're going to need to build a couple of brave castles towards the purple base. And just kind of do to purple what we did to the blue player. It's going to be harder because the purple player is stronger and all around better. But it worked before, so it should hopefully work now. Put down a university and... Some unit production buildings here are going to be helpful. The Eagle Warrior is going to be nice. Slingers. They cost food, so that's not ideal. Crossbowmen would work pretty well just because we do have so much gold, but I'd rather save that for something else. I think most of our gold we do want to be spending it on Eagle Warriors because those are very helpful indeed. And we'll back them up with skirmishes, and then any excess gold we have, we're going to try and spend it mostly on trebuchets and siege. Okay, another green force is coming. They are bringing a ram, just the one ram, that's fine. The trebuchet we need to be careful of. Okay, pull these guys back because we need them to take out the ram. I think the priests are actually helping quite a lot to be fair. Okay, so I need to think about where to put this first castle. So there is a purple castle right there. So if we could get away with dropping one, perhaps where the siege workshop currently is, that might just work. Don't need a instinctive house there, do not need that at all. Let's just uh, drop that. Get some more wood. And... Okay, so we fended off most of those guys. I think we're going to need quite a few villagers to pull this off. As our gold supply is steadily going down. Okay, I'm going to risk this. I'm going to drop a castle right here, I think. Pretty good choke point. They're going to have to go all the way around. Uh, I will send up some units to defend it. In fact, I would think this will be our new front line, so we're going to send everything we have. Try and defend that castle construction for as long as possible. Keep the eagles coming, and... send the trebuchets begin attacking the purple castle as there is a navy there that's fine hopefully our castle can reach that uh, we're going to take the bracer upgrade which is going to make our castles even better got rotation saves us a bit of wood no sign of attack so far Castle is going to go up, and we still have enough for three more castles if we need them. Trebuchet is going a pretty dangerous route. I'm going to cancel that and send them around this way instead. Okay, so we can see a very large force is on its way, consisting of at least one trebuchet, so got to look out for that. And I'm assuming it's going to attack this castle, but that's not necessarily a given. 
can put a duck down there and we'll try and do some fishing here possibly. Okay, this is all fine. Do need to look out for the trebuchet, we know it's coming. Everyone pull back. Let the castle handle all of this. Still no sign of the trebuchet for now. Village is most likely gonna die. Okay, trebuchets are now coming to attack. We're gonna need to focus these down. 28 Eagle Warriors, you would hope, would be enough to get through here without getting killed. I am leaving the Rams, which is slightly risky, but I want to make sure we absolutely take out these trips at all costs. Castle's actually completely going down. I think it will actually go down. Yeah. Not going to be able to keep the castle alive, unfortunately, but I will put down another one. As soon as it goes down. Slim chance we could save it. We'll have a go. That's no, I think it's a goner. Okay. Let's keep the units coming. We've got quite a few resources now. Okay, castle's gone down, that sucks. Alright. Let's put down another one, exactly where that was. Lots of units getting converted. Lots of trebuchets there, it's also going to be really awkward to deal with. Not trebuchets, but uh, Mangadel's castle is attempting to go up, but we're under attack. Slightly nightmarish, I might actually have to delete this just to save the stone. I think it is going to go down, okay. Fine, that didn't work. I want to keep these priests alive because they're pretty handy. Hopefully we've at least weakened them. But, as expected, gold is starting to become an issue. Uh, there is some gold there which we can go for. So we'll start gathering that and... Send some of these guys to get it too. It's only going to fuel us for so long, unfortunately. Okay, so mangonels are down. Let's build up a little bit more of a force once again, and we're going to attempt to do the same thing. Did not work out last time, but perhaps if we go for a second castle, just to be safe, that could potentially work. We need some trebs too. As that is all of our gold gone, unfortunately. We might have to switch to two-handed swordsmen. The problem is they're worse at taking out siege, and there is going to be a lot of siege to deal with. Worst case scenario, I can always fall back to how it is, but I don't really want to do that. Right, you guys are going to build a market. You guys are going to pull back, kill the monk. Villagers are going to once again attempt to put down a castle. Being attacked by the galleons, but that's fine, they're not going to do much damage. Not too worried about those. Let's try and defend this. Still got six priests if we need them. As a large force is coming in, it's going to be difficult. Huge force, in fact. I think I have overstretched quite a bit here. Okay, pull back. This in general is just not as workable as it looks. Fine. Everyone pull back. There's so much unit production, that's the problem. Three still dead. 
No, priests are okay. That's good. Four priests anyway. That's a start. Uh, let's get a mangonel. I feel like scorpions could actually work pretty well here, but the problem is the lack of gold income, of course. You guys focus this down for sure. I don't like to be so reliant on pikemen, but I just know that gold is going to become an issue sooner or later, so it's best if we just nip that in the bud and start making trash now. Eagles plus one armor plus two PS armor, 600 gold, very expensive. I think I'd rather go for halberdier just for now. And a couple of upgrades at the blacksmith. Siege engineers is tempting. Pretty sure it doesn't cost gold as well. Yeah, it doesn't cost gold, so let's get it. Put down a lumber camp, and you guys make a new one up here. So we can buy, or sell things for gold I should say. I'm not sure I want to do that too much. Do it just for now. So unfortunately, still got these guys to deal with. Okay, so we've got some gold here. I think that's literally it. Some gold here. And then we've already used up the gold from here. Yeah, okay. We've got some income if we need it. Uh, this doesn't cost gold. Heavy scorpion, very expensive in terms of food, but we are getting food in. Just want to make sure we really do have a massive force before we attempt to put down a castle once again. Ideally consisting of more than just trash. Two-handed swordsman's pretty cheap as an upgrade. You heavy scorpions. I'm not sure they actually have much that can deal with the heavy scorpions. They will come up with Kamiuks, but we can support with a few skirmishes. That might be okay. How expensive are these? 30 gold, that's a little bit steep. Considering these are 20. Okay, we've finished clearing out this guy's base. Uh, red player is attacking us somehow. Okay, I thought the red guy was pretty sleepy, but he's attacking us somewhere. Not really sure where that was, but okay. Decent force here. Still away off the pop cap, so we'll keep it coming. Need scorpions on their way. We're gonna put down a siege workshop. You guys pack up. Get the halberd is coming. I really do just want to try and save some gold because it is just going to run out. It's not quite as healthy as it looks right now. So for another 20 units. Let's get a couple of mangonels. 
and I think we do want quite a few villagers just to ensure this castle goes up really quickly. If we can set up two castles in quick succession, that might actually be okay. There is a hill there to put one on. That's got to be a good option. Okay, so slight change of plan. Uh, I actually saved the game in order to go and make some lunch, and uh, I've kind of had a, a bit of a rethink about how we're approaching this whole situation. Although it seems intuitively like we should be attacking the purple player, because of course if we don't attack the purple player it seems like he might attack us. Uh, I actually think that that's not going to be the best option uh, on reflection. If you take a look at the objectives, you look at the scouting reports and you look at the red player, it says that Anku Horlak built himself a fortress, blah 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 blah, and then it says uh, if you manage to kill him that will damage the morale and discipline of the defenders of Waman Karpa. So I don't know exactly what that means, but presumably it means that they are going to be slightly less fearsome when you actually fight them. Uh, so I think we should definitely do that because they are just too hard to break in their current form. Uh, I don't really see how it can be done. So we'll try and take that guy out and uh, we'll see how that plays out. First we're going to take a few villagers and we're going to drop a few archery rangers because even though we're right near the pop cap right now, uh, I think it's still going to be worth it just to potentially crank out a few slingers, which are of course going to be very good at assassinating the man himself who does have... let's have a look, where is he? He does have 300 HP plus 6 pierce armor, so as much as I would like to try and snipe him with my skirmishes, that is not going to work. We're going to need slingers. Uh, I'm going to pack these guys up and I'm going to move these guys down too. I will probably drop at least one castle. Uh, I'm going to bring these guys over as well to help build the castle. And keep the trebs together. Bring the mangonels. And let's focus mostly on slingers. So another thing that we should bear in mind for this particular fight is we do have the grey player who is lurking towards the bottom of the map, right around here. I am just kind of hoping that the, uh, the purple player doesn't come to attack us, because if he does we're going to have some problems. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but if it doesn't we have actually left an opening here, which I, I didn't mean to, but uh, it does mean we can move one of our villages across if we need to. But there we go. Transport ship apparently does count as a signal to attack, so that's great. Uh, we're going to start moving these guys across here. And see if there's space for a castle. That hill potentially could work. Quite a few green units on their way here, so we'll try and take those out first. Don't want to be fighting them with infantry. We're going to pull that back. Uh, 11 villages here, that's going to actually work pretty well. Try and get all these guys back, and I'm going to try to repair some of these trebuchets because they are not looking too healthy. Let's try this. Hopefully that's a good spread. Uh, so we're at 160 out of 160. So we can't really strengthen this anymore other than perhaps to drop a castle right there, which I think is going to be a good idea. So we will go and attempt to do that because this guy will have quite a few units. Obviously he hasn't attacked us yet. I think he is similar to the purple player in that he mostly just waits for you to attack him before he does anything too terrifying. Uh, we're going to bring these trebuchets to target. Let's go for the furthest keep and in the process we can attempt to take out the other keep as well, along with the gate. Uh, we're going to bring along these skirmishes, that is just an eagle warrior, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, let's bring the priests, definitely. Our unit's healthy. And the rest of these guys as well. As you can see, he's coming out with his full forces. Uh, let's see if we can take out these trebuchets because they're going to cause us lots of issues. I'm not really sure what to do with these villages now. I'm going to try a siege workshop. That's got to be fairly safe. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with these guys. They are actually attacking, so that's good. Let's let's try and take this out. Uh, 
Then we'll attack the gate. Uh, how are these doing? So they're doing fairly well so far, but they're almost at the point where they only have onagers left, and uh, those are going to get destroyed by Jaguar warriors and things like that, so we need to be a little bit careful there. Finish off the gate if we can. Bring the priests down to heal up. And uh, wow, we've already lost 50 units, so it is time to send in the slingers. Put all these back. Uh, Anku himself is looking kind of vulnerable. We might have some kind of chance there. Have to be very careful because there is an Onager coming. Need to look out for that. Let the castle destroy that before we do anything. Too crazy. Uh, slight risk here. We're going to get hit, but have managed to take that out, so that's good. You guys focus down the trip. Thing is on their way in. You guys focus on this. The rest of you are going to attempt to take out the castle. As yeah, the grey player has pretty much completely dissolved now. I'm not sure where this guy is. He's okay, he's still in front of the castle. Right, slingers. Slightly risky, but I might actually go for this. We've got enough left. I'm gonna go in with the skirmishes first. And then I'll try to bring in the slingers afterwards when they're slightly less likely to get destroyed by the castle. I haven't really got enough of them yet. 14. I think we're going to have to have a go. Uh, there is an unfortunate onager right there which could absolutely destroy us, but I think we just have to keep going. Hopefully we won't get hit by that. Nope. Okay. Let's try and shoot this guy. We are going to take him out, so that's great. And now we're going to pull back. Hopefully that's just the end of the red player. Uh, he does still have that trebuchet we should perhaps deal with. Or anything else. Ah, I actually got one of our trebs, that's kind of annoying as, holy crap, there are a huge number of purple units on their way to attack us. Wow, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to just throw everything we can at this. Um, Albedeers, perhaps. It might actually go down, I think. Actually, no, it looks like we're actually handling it okay. Um, these skirmishes might do alright, and we'll try and catch out these trebuchets too. Kamiux are doing okay. Keep them coming. This Grey has actually got some more units which he's bringing up to help us out. As, uh, it looks like we've mostly held this guy off. A couple of trebuchets coming to attack here. So apparently this guy is now low on morale, whatever that means. As I realised I forgot to bring the scorpions, that would have helped. Okay, so Grace going for the push, manages to take out a monk, that's good. We've got enough left in the bank for one more castle. I think we lost most of our villages there. Haven't got a huge amount to spend. Champion upgrade is 350 gold, I'm actually pretty tempted to go for that. They're fairly cheap in terms of gold. Uh, I'm going to send a few villages over to here, as uh, we don't want to be fighting those. I'm hoping this is going to massively slow down the purple player's momentum. Keep our priests safe. As a uh, great player is now focusing on destroying what's left of the red player, but uh, that's all fine. I'm not sure if he's actually going to help us against the purple player or not. Um, I can see that monk there. If we can snipe him, that'd be great. Yeah, we got him. That's good. Finish these off two. And... Let's be careful here. Okay, so we definitely want to put up a castle. Uh, there are a number of ships to worry about just here. We definitely want to put the castle in a position where it can snipe both the war galleys and the various other units. Uh, lots of annoying green units here which are going to be fairly vulnerable to our skirmishes. Don't want to send the priests. Pull the priest back. Okay, the numbers are going to win us that fight, so that's good. I'm going to attempt to put up the castle because it does look reasonably safe for now. Uh, that's actually crack ground, and that actually weakens your buildings. So maybe not right there. Let's try. Let's try here instead. It's a little bit risky, but we have got quite a few units. Um, Gray is, or purple is not quite as fearsome as he was before, as far as I can tell. 
bring the trees up, try and keep ourselves nice and healthy, and let's also bring over the halberdiers. We are getting converted by the monks, but that's fine, as long as we're mostly holding them off. Scorpions take these out. Send in more halberdiers. Send in more skirmishers, and I think more scorpions will work too. That is most of our gold gone, so do have to be a little bit careful. Uh, do have just the one treb back? Treb? One treb? Yep, yeah, one treb. Do have just the one treb left, and it's not really going to be enough, but we can construct a couple more if we do find ourselves with a little bit more gold. There is some gold available there. Uh, looks like he's actually trying to go for it. So this is definitely easier than it was before, for what it's worth. But I'm still not sure exactly what it meant for him to have lost morale. In any case, let's send our Treb up to attack this first castle. And let's try to ignore the ships as much as possible. We can drop a dock. Just in case we want a few of our own. They do tend to be pretty resource efficient, if nothing else. Monks need to keep everyone healthy. Let's, uh, let's actually repair this. Let's be careful of the demo ships. They could take out pretty much all of our scorpions in one go. We don't want that to happen. And we've got lots of resources for trash, if nothing else. Drop a couple more buildings. You're going to attack the castle. Uh, fire ships could work. Still seem to be building mostly war galleys. We've already researched fast fire ships, so let's actually go for that. And I think most of our units have been killed, but that's fine. We can drop huge numbers of skirmishes on them pretty much any time. Along with how it is. This Treb is in a little bit of trouble, but surviving for now, we're slowly taking down the castle. Uh, fast fire ships are on their way. A bit expensive in terms of gold. Hopefully once we take down this castle we can potentially go and try and grab some of this gold. As, uh, yeah, the demo ships are taking out our fire ships and honestly it might be better just to go with standard skirmishes and things since they don't cost gold. Castle is about to go down. This thing needs to be repaired. All these guys towards us is, yeah, this is sig significantly easier than it was before. So I think it is working. Definitely worth taking out the red player before you attempt to go for this. Demo ship on its way, need to be careful. Ah, okay, killed at some of our, I think those were Halberdiers, I don't think those were Kamiux, but they managed to get a few kills on us. As, uh, I can potentially go for his dock, or at least one of his docks, which is probably going to be worth it. And we'll also go for this keep. I think we can take this pretty slow, it doesn't seem like he's going to throw anything too scary at us. Not too many trebs or anything like that coming in. As, uh, we've got a nice force of skirmishes now. Get the spawn camp the front lines, and we're going to tentatively begin gathering some of this gold. And let's get a couple more trebs. Skirmishes alone seem to be handling pretty much everything this guy's throwing at us. So that's good. I'm not seeing any siege. There was a monk. But there's still some kind of unit variety going on here. I think his behavior has changed because I'm pretty sure these villagers weren't trying to come out before. It does seem like they have only just started doing that since the red player got taken out. Uh, but that keep has gone down. There is a town centre there. I'm not sure if this guy will rebuild, so we'll try and take that out as soon as we can. Uh, we'll take this out with this, and uh, we actually lost a trebuchet. The war galley's there, which is pretty annoying. Let's try and back them up with some skirmishes. Get this thing away. And... Let's go for that monastery. A few green units coming in, but nothing too tough, so that's fine. This trebuchet will go for the archery range, I think. 
fact, let's just make sure we finish off that dot first. Still got quite a bit of pop space to work with. Try some more skirmishes. They do seem to be doing extremely well, to be fair. I think the main thing that's helping is he does seem to have stopped producing siege, and the siege was causing all kinds of problems before, but just to absolutely make sure we're going to focus down that siege workshop. And let's finish off that dock. Gold income slowly coming in now. Let's send the rest of our villagers up since it does seem pretty safe and we do need the gold. Proper siege workshop. Send these up. I'm not sure if he has more than one dock but uh, we will soon find out as we do seem to be able to push a little bit further and yeah it does look like he's still producing navy somewhere. Try and knock out that archery range. Teach workshop's gone down. Monastery is weakened. Seems like most of our units have been killed by the keep I think. But yeah this is a, a lot easier than it was before. Definitely. How about his come back? Stay in defensive stance. You guys keep exploring. There is a dock here, but it's guarded by a keep, so I don't think that's really going to work out too well. Bring the priests forward to keep our units nice and healthy, as uh, let's make sure we get rid of this keep. Lost three relics from there, so that's good. Should be pretty much out of gold income now. He's definitely stopped producing siege. Let's get a couple more trebuchets in here. Okay, let's see what we can see with the trebuchet. If we go all the way forward, an archery range there. Mostly just villagers coming out. I assume there's another town centre somewhere to look out for. We're being attacked. Not down here. Okay, nothing to worry about there. Still away off the pop cap. Trebuchet is on their way. You guys take out the archery range and the other three we're going to pack up and move them in a little bit further. I think we'll just avoid that area for now because the keep is just going to keep getting kills against us. Move this treb up here and the other three we will take as far forward as we can. Take out the gate. There is another town centre there so I think that's definitely going to be worth focusing down. We've also got trade by the looks of it, as uh, there's a pretty large attack coming in from the green player, at least of the navy. But that's all fine, we can handle that. Uh, looks like they've actually taken out our wood line. That's no problem, we've still got lots of wood available over here. And plus we have 3,000 in the bank. One castle there, and then these two castles, and that should be the end of the scenario, I believe. Made it through the gate. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be open, but able to walk straight through, that's perfect. And we just need to make sure that we don't go too close to the castles because those are going to kill us. With a few archers being produced. Okay, you go and attack the archery range. Actually, I think, yeah, this trip can actually do it from here, so that's perfect. Uh, that is already going down. We'll start attacking the castles now. There is another town centre there, worth bearing in mind. I think we'll actually focus that down instead. If we can get rid of this guy's economy, that'd be great. I've actually got a decent supply of gold now, too. Six trebuchets, let's focus them. 
Actually, let's split them. Let's send three up to attack the castle in the north, and the west we're gonna send. Uh, the rest? The rest we're gonna send to the west. So I can see a few relics there, but I don't think it's worth picking them up at this point. I think we're completely fine. Green player's not really doing that much to scare us. Coming with quite a few ships, but honestly, that's completely fine. Castle will handle those on its own. It's not like he can build cannon galleons or anything like that. With that said, he is now coming forward with a pretty large force, and that's uh, a little bit scary. I think it might be time for a few slingers. So we need to make sure our halberdiers are helping our trebuchets. This is actually going to force us back, I think. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. The defenders of Wamangarpa have only one castle left to retreat to. Okay, we can try and push it. A little bit risky. What I might actually do is drop a final castle. We can sell plenty of food. Buy some wood and... Okay, so we've lost ground there. I think that's okay. I feel like this is just a little bit unambitious, so what I'll do instead is I'll pull back to the castle and we'll take as many units as we can, just gather them up. Bring all these forward. Need to be careful of the ram, so there is a ram coming in there, it's worth bearing in mind. Bring a manga now to help with that. Uh, these slingers will all go down to the castle. Okay, Ram's focusing on the barracks, which is good. Buys us some time. More galley here, and... I'm pretty sure once we've dealt with this wave, that's going to be more or less everything. You go and attack the Ram. You guys can forward. And we will attempt to drop a castle. Probably won't work out, but that's fine. Mostly we just want a few extra trebuchets. Not Kamiyx. A little bit of a risk that the villagers get killed, but those can always be replaced. You guys focus these down. Just that final castle left to go, and... I don't think anything too scary is going to pop up in the meantime. No real point attacking in this direction. We do have a second monastery. We're still getting some kind of gold income. We've got our first treb, we're going to send that to attack, and I can't see them pushing this back now. Castle is going to go up by the looks of it. Have a few extra halberdiers. More forces here. Okay, castle's slowly going down. Our trebuchets are pretty well defended in that location. And that's surely got to be it now. Send this dread to take out this tower. Castle's going down. No sign of green. Still attempting to attack over here. Grey is actually still alive, which I'm surprised about, but I guess he's not really doing anything. Literally just attacking fortified walls. Okay, that's got to be it, right? Yep. Awesome. That was so much easier having taken out the red player. That's definitely the key to winning. 
uh, mangonels alone or onagers would have made that so much harder. But there we go. We have completed it. We are through. At that time, it was common for Junka warriors to intimidate their enemies by using cups fashioned from the skulls of prisoners to drink the blood of the slain. Even so, when the victorious Inca troops entered Huamancarpa, their remaining defenders had no choice but to surrender. Everyone thought that Pachacuti would take bloody revenge on the Chanka, the old man explained, but Pachacuti instead chose mercy and integrated the surviving warriors of the Chanka into his army. Astonishingly enough, they became loyal followers and acknowledged the Inca king as their new overlord. The domain of the Inca was now greater than ever. Pachacuti's superiority had become too overwhelming and his armies too effective, leaving no tribes who could contend with the Inca except for the kingdom of Chimor, which was located near the coast to the west. Okay, I'm guessing those are going to be the final opponents we'll come across in the last scenario of the campaign. Which will be the next one. But yeah, here are the stats. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.